Everlaw's context panel allows you to view a document in the context of its related documents. With the context panel, you can evaluate related documents, like duplicates, attachments, or email threads, at once, saving you time and improving accuracy. The context panel resides on the left side of the review window. Each time you go to a new document in your review, it displays the number of exact and near duplicates, documents in the same attachment group, emails in the same thread, and versions of the document. This helps you cover all your bases during review, making sure you don't miss relevant documents. The number of duplicates, attachments, email threads, and versions related to the current document is listed under the corresponding icons in the context panel. An icon will be grayed out if there are no related documents of that type. Click an icon to view all of the related documents of that type. The document you are currently viewing is highlighted in green, documents you have not yet viewed are in yellow, and documents that you have already viewed are in gray. You can see the current rating of each document on the right-hand side. To view a related document, click on it to open it in the same review window. Each document you view will replace the previous one within the review window, instead of being overlaid. The original document you started with will always remain in bold, ensuring that you do not lose your place as you explore related documents. Each type of related document is displayed in a view that best organizes those documents. The duplicates view shows both exact and near duplicates in order of similarity, with exact duplicates at the top. For near duplicates, the degree of similarity to the current document is indicated by a percentage. A document that is more like the original document will have a higher percentage. The similarity percentage is based on document text, not metadata. The attachment group view displays the parent email at the top, followed by all of its attachments. You can see the file name and file type of each attachment, so you know what to expect when you select one. Finally, the email thread view shows all of the emails in the current document's thread. This view shows both emails that exist as individual documents in your dataset and extracted emails that are not in your dataset. Extracted emails are emails whose existence can be inferred from the references in the text of the emails that you do have. By displaying these extracted email placeholders, Everlaw gives you a more complete picture of the conversation and can alert you to gaps that may be the result of missing custodians or other issues. Because extracted emails do not exist as separate documents, they are only available as brief descriptions in the context panel. This means you cannot open them in the review window. If two or more separate people responded to the same email, the thread split is indicated by divergences in the full email tree. Emails that belong to the same thread will have the same color on their left edge. To help you read the entire email thread as efficiently as possible, you can highlight all inclusive emails by toggling the checkbox directly below the thread. Inclusive emails refers to emails that cover the text of the entire thread. By toggling on inclusive emails, all non-inclusive emails will be grayed out, while inclusive ones will be highlighted. By targeting just the highlighted emails, you can quickly read all of the content in the thread. Once you've opened a related document in the review window, you can directly review it by applying ratings or codes, or by adding the document to a binder, just as you normally would. To perform batch actions to an entire set of related documents, click Update Selected, select your changes, then click Apply. You can change which documents are updated by checking or unchecking the box next to each one. If you make a mistake, you can undo all of the changes you've made since you first opened the original document by clicking on the Undo button. You cannot undo one change at a time. When navigating, remember that documents shown are always relative to the original document in your current search, so clicking on Next Document will take you to the next document in your original search results, and not to the next related document in the context panel. If you have any questions on how to use the context panel, feel free to contact us by message, email, or phone.